Welcome to AquaSystems do-it-yourself tutorial how to clean and sanitize a bottleless water cooler reservoir. Today we're going to use the Welsys JCP 8020 Venus water cooler as our example. You need to get together some materials in order to accomplish this. Phillips screwdriver, hydrogen peroxide, paper towels, and a small bucket. Before we get started, let me let you know that we do stock NSF labeled replacement water filters. They're quality filters with long lives and low cost, so if you need water filter replacement, please keep us in mind. To get started, unplug the water cooler and turn off the water supply. Put your bucket below the cold water dispenser, open the dispenser, and allow the tank to drain completely. If you're going to drain the hot water tank at this time, move to the back of the cooler, unscrew the small black screw-on cap, and allow the hot water tank to drain into the bucket. Careful now, if you've just unplugged your cooler, the hot water could burn your hand, so be cautious. If you decide to sanitize your hot water tank in this process, and you've emptied your hot water tank, turn off the hot water switch now. Next we're going to remove the top of the water cooler held on by two Phillips screws. Remove those, put your fingers in the recess below the tab, and lift up. Once off, the lid to the cold water reservoir is exposed. You will notice tubing coming from the filter chamber below entering the cold water reservoir on the one side. On the other side is the solenoid float switch. They remain with the lid when you take it off. To remove the lid, put your fingers on the edge, find where it meets the stainless steel reservoir, and lift up. Sometimes it's tight, but it's durable. You can lift it up without hurting it. Once up, you'll see the vinyl seal ring on the edge. That seals it from the air, keeping it sanitary, and the two floats on the bottom of the lid. All of these parts remain with the lid. Simply drape the lid over the side of the cooler to start the interior sanitation process. I start, number one, wash your hands. Clean your hands using a hand sanitizer or warm soapy water, but get your hands clean before starting the sanitation process. Once sanitized, you'll see the, put your hand in the cooler, you'll see the plastic divider that separates the ambient water from the cold water. Two tabs on top of that. Unscrew that counterclockwise to remove that divider. Once unscrewed, lift it up and out of the tank. This will expose the entirety of the stainless steel reservoir. You probably will see a little bit of water left at the bottom of that reservoir from the draining process. Take a clean paper towel and just wipe out the remaining water inside the reservoir. Once dry, pour in a little hydrogen peroxide. An ounce or two will do. If you want to sanitize the hot water tank at this time, pour an ounce or two into the center hole at the bottom of that reservoir. That is the fill for the hot water tank. With hydrogen peroxide in the bottom of the reservoir, open your cold water dispenser for just a second or two. Do not drain the cold water reservoir. Just allow some hydrogen peroxide to enter the line into the dispenser so it will sanitize that while we sanitize the reservoir tank itself. Next, take clean paper towels, dip them into the bottom of the reservoir, and let them get soaked with the hydrogen peroxide. Now, wipe the bottom of the reservoir and the sides of the reservoir thoroughly with the soaked paper towel. Lift the lid up, and with the soaked paper towel, wash the floats on the bottom of the lid with the hydrogen peroxide, and allow the lid to drape back over the side of the cooler. Next, take another clean paper towel and soak up the remaining hydrogen peroxide in the bottom of the tank. Now lift up the plastic divider 
and with the soaked paper towel again, wash the divider off top and bottom. Once cleaned, you can screw that lid back in clockwise into its dividing position. Next, take the cleaned lid and place it over the reservoir and push it down till it's completely flush with the stainless steel reservoir and sealed and closed. You're now ready to plug the water cooler back in and turn the water supply on. Start filling the cooler. Again, make sure the hot switch is off and let the cooler fill for a few minutes. Then you want to drain the few ounces of water that have come in there to drain the residual hydrogen peroxide. If you drain the hot tank and put hydrogen peroxide in that, do the same on the rear of the cooler by opening the drain valve and allowing the water to drain out of the hot tank. What you're doing is getting rid of the residual hydrogen peroxide in order to prepare for a final fill of the water cooler. I would recommend doing that several times to get any residual taste of the hydrogen peroxide out. Once completed, you're ready to wipe down the exterior of the cooler while the water cooler is filling. Use hydrogen peroxide on the dispensers to clean those up. You wipe down the sides and back and top and while the water cooler is filling and, and then you're ready to go. Now, don't forget, we do stock NSF labeled replacement water filters. They're quality filters, they're long lived, and we offer them at very good prices. So please, if you need replacement water filters for your bottleless cooler, we stock them and we'd love to be your service provider. We also stock a new and innovative quick release, no tools, easy change filter fitting. Uh, if you order filters from us, I highly recommend that you order new fittings. Uh, you'll find that changing filters is quite a lot easier with these no tool quick release fittings. And that's it for your water cooler sanitation tutorial. How'd we do? If you liked us, hit our Facebook like button and let the world know. We've got some good information we'd like to share, and we'd like to share it with other people who need it.